Let's talk about stack policies. So these allow you to control if the stack update actions are permitted. Preventing a stack update could be, uh, be to prevent data loss or interruption to services. And the way it works is that you'll create a stack policy. Um, this is not an IAM policy, even though it looks uh, very much like one. But notice that we have AWS CloudFormation stack set policy. So you're pushing this policy over uh, to uh, CloudFormation. The key thing in here is that when we specify the resource, we always say logical resource ID and then uh, the, the logical resource ID in your CloudFormation template that you want the policy to apply. Notice here that it's saying deny update for all types of updates. Notice that when we did the uh, stack updates, there was three ways to do it. And so that is the, the three things that we can specify it on. So let's look at the possible actions. We have update modify, update replace, update delete, and then update for all the above cases. The only thing that's different here is that this one is like, if you were to update uh, your, your CloudFormation and had to delete something, okay? So it doesn't exactly map to those three one-to-one, uh, uh, -one, but the point is, is that it's very similar, okay?